It's Christmas! Christmas is nearly here, but what on earth does Christmas mean? Presents? A tree? Lights? Turkey? Family arguments? Brussels sprouts? Who knows? Well, today we want to share with you some of the truths of what Christmas means for Christians around the world. Okay. It is wonderful to see you, although we can't see you and we can't hear you. If you don't know me, I'm Adam from Label of Love and we're a Christian organisation and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Now, can you remember the last time you were in complete darkness? Can you remember what that feels like? It feels quite lonely and frightening and uh, hard and difficult at times. Well, we are going to share with you a game which illustrates this perfectly. Petra! Hello! Oh, hi, Adam. How are you? All right, thank you. How are you? Fine. Petra, what does Christmas mean for you? Is it about sprouts and lights and presents or what? Uh, it's about my children, really, and giving them gifts and celebrating together as a family. Wonderful. Petra, I've got a challenge for you. Uh-oh. Can you sort these M&Ms out, please, into the different colours? Oh, come on. You said challenge. That's nothing. Come on, we do that quite quickly. Yeah. Some yellow. Okay. Brown. Uh-oh. Orange. Don't lose them. No, don't worry. Yummy, yummy. Chocolate. Yeah, Christmas is about chocolate. I always make a Christmas advent, no, an advent calendar for my girls, and they always get a piece of chocolate in the morning. You make it? I make it, yes. I don't just buy one. I've made one, and they, it gets refilled every year. Recycling, you see, re, recycle. That's a, that's a good thing to do. There you go. I'm done. You've done it. That's easy. Well, that was, that was quicker than what I thought, to be honest. But now, Petra, the challenge is for you to do this blindfolded. Uh oh I see. Oh, well, you know, that would be just as easy. I'm sure I so can you can't do see this. anything. Have we got some? Oh, look at that. Oh, look. I'm prepared. You see, prepared. I knew there was something coming. Right. Do you think she can do it? Of yes, course I can. I can. Oops. So, same challenge, tasks, um, the colours need to be in the same order, so the orange with the orange, the yellow with the yellow, etc. Right. Easy peasy lemons. How many fingers am I holding up, Petra? No, 15. Yes. Good. Okay. okay. You can't see. Right. Okay. Go. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. I'm doing a good job on it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. That's pretty accurate. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you happy I'm with that? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. That, that must be it. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. It didn't, didn't work at all. Didn't work at all. No. Things are much harder in the dark. When there are hard, when it's dark outside, it's much harder to see where you're going, or it's much harder to do a task. But the idea is that when we do these different tasks in the dark and we find it hard. What is the light? Well, Christians say that the light of Jesus is a path for their feet. It's a guide for them to follow. I can remember when I was uh, mountain climbing in Scotland and it was about four o'clock in the afternoon and it was starting to get a little bit dark and I was lost. I didn't take a map and I didn't take a phone. I know, silly, right? But this was really quite frightening. I was miles away from home. Uh, I'd, I'd left the car two or three hours ago and I was up on a ridge and I got about halfway around the ridge and I met a sheet of ice and I couldn't cross the ice. So I thought, all right, well, I'll turn back. So I turned around. The fog and the mist and the darkness closed in around me and I couldn't see where I was going. And so I decided to sit down and to pray. And I said, God, please help me. If you are there, please help me. I cried out to God. And amazingly, and I know it sounds cliche and a bit cheesy, but the fog and the darkness lifted and there was light. And I could see where I needed to go. And I got back onto the path and I made it back to the car. 
and I was very thankful. For Christians around the world, that's exactly what the light of Jesus is. That when in dark times, in troubled times, we can know the light of Jesus. So we want to leave you with a challenge. We've heard that Christians around the world believe in the light of Jesus, but you can shine your light too. So why not this Christmas, why not help in the kitchen and prepare the turkey or throw a smile to a stranger or help a neighbour? We want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Jesus.